These budget rules are particularly relevant when Congress considers policies with the goal of increasing economic growth. Tax reform is a prime example. Our tax code's a mess, and it's riddled with inefficiencies and loopholes. People are demanding some simplicity. Reform that makes it simpler and fairer for everyone would require bold policy changes, not tweaking around the edges of a broken structure. Uh, Senator Graham's decades of experience serving as an elected official, both in the House and then in the Senate, uh, both as a Democrat and as a Republican, not at the same time, of course, uh, provide insight into which policies have historically led to growth upon implementation, as well as which are most politically attainable. I, I've always taken an interest in the budget uh, because behind these numbers with a sort of endless row of zeros behind them, uh, is a vision for America's future. I've always thought the budget in trying to set out what we wanted government to be and therefore what we wanted America to be was very important. If we don't break out of this rut we're in, uh, if we continue at a 1.9% growth rate, or if we break out and we can't do the things necessary to keep the recovery going, we could easily end up in a secular stagnation. And America can't be the America we know if it's not growing and prosperous. Uh, everything our country stands for, uh, all of the opportunities that we believe should be there for every American depend on growth. And so I think we need to be bold in getting the economy growing, and then we need to be vigilant about what we, we do to keep it growing. Uh, I remember first meeting you as this young accountant who had this annoying habit of wanting things to add up. 